Good morning. Yeah. It's Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. My name is Terry Morgan, and we are here to practice Xin Yi and Wudang's three basic methods. I announced earlier this week that beginning August 4th, this time slot is going to change. I will begin teaching straight sword. It'll be about four weeks of introductory methods, uh, basic um, use of the straight sword. It's different than a broadsword, and so we're going to pay attention a little bit of that. And then I will begin teaching Wudang Taiji sword in this time slot. So today and next week, I'm going to focus on what we've been doing, review some of the details, and pay attention to the connections in the connecting form, Wu Xing Lian Huan, so that we have that those fundamentals. And then, <laughs> as I get back out to the other studio, I will hook all of that up and uh, redo it again so that you have the opportunity to see how it all works together all at once, all at the same time. There is some video out there of me doing the entire form outside, so there's that. And I, I will be putting some things together for the three methods as well. So it's not over. I'm going to come back to it. And I'll be adding some things. So the goal for me is to get most of the material recorded. And if I don't move that along a little bit quicker, it's going to be sometime in 2025 when I get done. And I didn't want to get all the way out there. I'm looking at 2023. Two's not going to happen. Three. 2023 that I might be finished. Let's get started with practice. It, these things take time. They do. Alright, so... <laughs> Feet about shoulder width apart. Basic stretch. We're going to warm up the legs a little bit, and then we're going to do some additional stretches for the legs before we get started with Wudang's three basic methods. Feet about shoulder width apart, stand straight, pull up through the crown of the head, bend the knees, hands circle the front, back around to both sides, up along the center line, stretch up, reach out. Extend over the legs, roll up through the back, and one more. Stretch up, elbows drop down, wrists, fingertips, hands return to your sides. Okay, I'm, I'm looking over here at the screen, hang on just a second, I'm seeing... Alright, I'm seeing the not receiving enough data error. Um, I, I, the best I have is that there's somebody that's trying to piggyback on my signal and they're succeeding. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I can see that I'm still on the screen, so I'm going to keep going. Alright, right foot front, left foot back. Open it a little bit more. Sink a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, down and one, two, three. Four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Sink and change legs. Yes, it should be a wider stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Sink. And come on up. Okay. The that warning over there bothers me. All right, I have to just pay attention to it. All right. As we work through Wudang's three basic methods, a couple of the things that we really need to pay attention to are the holding strength in the leg holding and supporting the body over the leg so that the leg is not taking all of the weight. The leg only needs to take as much as it has to to support you as you move through. There are, and I've, I've talked about this before, I'm not, I'm not going to belabor it too much. The level at which we work is on the ground. Okay. Today, I'm not there. We are going to do, right now, one exercise that's going to help get me there, and you as well. And I'm going to do this with using my hands. All right, so very similar to what we just did. This open stance, except I'm going to turn this foot to the front put this one to the side and I'm going to sink down over in this case my right leg. You're welcome to go to your right or your left. We're going to go all the way down and use your hands to get there. Sink. You want to sink as much as you can into the leg. Drop the hip. If you stick your butt out, you won't, it won't happen. All right? Drop the hip. All right? As you go down. Now, okay, I'm reaching for the floor now. There we go. All right. Here. Now, what I need to do is to pull up more. I can get here sort of. All right. Other leg. Careful with your knees. And, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a good stretch. It really is. It's a very good stretch. I will testify to that. All right, back up. All right. This stretch, <laughs> as you noticed, I'm better on one side than the other. Everybody's like that. There's always going to be, left side's going to do something better, the right side's going to do something. It's always going to be that way. All right. What you want to work toward is that they can both do pretty much, the, both sides can pretty much do the same. Now, I've stopped with that today. My legs are telling me about it. We'll come back to it another time. For this, we're, we're going to need it. <laughs> we're going to need it for Wudang Tai Chi and for a couple other things. This is why we talk about Wudang's three basic methods. If we've got these three basic methods, we can do these three basic methods, we can pretty much do everything else. All right, so we have, together with this idea of being all the way down here, creeping snake in Wudang's three basic methods. We start here, but this extends, right? So as I, set here. What I should be doing, I'm going to use my hands. All right, so I, I'm, there's no way it's going to happen. All right, so I'm here. As I get ready to set this foot, okay, push out, push up, push up, push up. Sink. And 
I'm going all the way down. Here we go. I'm here. All right? This is pretty much my best. What can happen is this, and I'm not getting up from here. It ain't happening. All right? This leg comes down. Right? My hip's not open enough to do that today. This leg comes all the way down to the floor. This leg is on the floor. My body's upright. Right? I have to be able to support my body through my torso. And as I come up, right? And I have to be able to lift my body, which I'm not doing from there. <coughs> not today. <laughs> all right. I'm doing this to show you, to put on a record, part of what this is supposed to look like. I have talked about it. I have said it should be, it should be, okay. This is where it goes. Alright? And I'm being honest. My legs are telling me about it. Alright? The ability to do this set doesn't depend on being able to scrape the ground. It depends on correct position, correct placement, and the correct direction and use of force. Being all the way on the ground gives us the additional flexibility to do whatever we want to do when we decide we want to do it. Now, As I said, there was a time when I was better than today. My hope is that by describing some of this and doing some of these comparisons to document what the differences are, that later on we'll be able to use this as a coaching tool. Okay. Creeping snake, don't try to go all the way down. Remember to sink into the leg and open the hip. Sink, open the hip, step through, sink. Yeah, it's hard to do that if you're only right on the ground, isn't it? Uh -huh. And come on up. One more. Okay. Part of the idea, shishingle, creeping snake. Snake creeps along the ground continuously. Keep going. All right? One more time. Pay attention to the idea that we keep going. Okay? Just a little bit faster. Not much, just a little. Up from underneath, turn, and come up again. This continuous, it's Fundamentally the same movement on both sides, right? Turn here. Feet about shoulder width apart. Shift the weight onto the right. Sink and turn. Left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side. Keep the shoulder down. Up from underneath. 
and relax. One more time. On the right, set, sink, arms, circle, and circle, and circle, and again. I will cover this again. Any other studio, whether that's uh, in the next uh, session or whether that's going to be as a supplement, but I will cover it again, trust me. Alright, so we have Coiling Snake. Similar need to pay attention to the supporting leg. Okay? As I. So we have a little bit of difference between what we do with Coiling Snake here in Wudang's Three Basic Methods and what we do with Coiling Snake in Wudang Qigong. A little bit of difference. As we, for Wudang's Three Basic Methods, as we start, step up, foot comes up, same side, same foot, right? Turn. Turn the foot. Go ahead and turn the foot. Turn around. Keep going. And keep going. And keep going. As we come up, ready the left hand. Ready the left foot. You're going to step out. You need to stay supported over your right foot. That step. uses force. It's not... Come out here and raise your hand. There's... I have a target. Yeah, I have, I have a target. There's my target right there. Alright, don't stick your thumb up. Put it here. So, as my hand turns, over here, as my hand turns, this is down. Don't do this. It will hurt you. Better. This is what you want to use, not this. Okay? Right here. Twist the arm. Turn the waist. Come out, twist, and a coiling snake, right? Coil. I'm going to turn around face the other way. Follow me. We'll do the left side. Okay, I'm going to step to the, um, I'm going to open to the right, and we're going to step to the left. It's going to be a small step, but otherwise I run in the wall, all right? Ready? Right foot front, up, turn the foot, twist, stay over the leg, come out of it, the turn, and step. Again, right side, up, down, up, out. Right side again, up, down, out. Left side, up, twist, step. You need to be careful <laughs> not to hit the wall too. All right, and left side, up, twist, step. One more. All right. As we twist, and I'm going to use hands to do this. I'm going to sip coffee for a second while this thing buffers. So, paying attention as we turn, as we twist to go down, 
we need to pay attention to that supporting leg. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use my hands. I'm going to do this. All right, so as, <laughs> yeah, all right. At, like I'm favoring my right leg today. Hmm. Twist. Stay straight as you can. Twist. Keep going. And keep going. I'm using my hands. There we go. All the way down. Except that instead of me sitting here and needing to boost myself up with my hands, I should be able to stand up from here. And move through the form. Not today. I need hands. Alright, I've talked about that. I showed this deliberately. Again, same as Creeping Snake, because I've talked about what you do with your knee as you turn. That your knee should not be going straight down. Your knee need your holding leg. Right? And now I'm going to do my left leg. Right leg's getting tired. <laughs> left leg is my holding leg. My right leg is going to tuck in behind. Right? I should not lean. In here. Know this. Right? That's, that's My hand's reaching for the floor. My hand shouldn't be reaching for the floor. All right? <clears throat> here. As I turn... The right leg turns and tucks in behind the left so that if I continue down, if I keep going down, I'm supported over my left leg as I go down and as I come back up. You should be able to do this. I'm closer to this one than I am to the other one. Now, with coiling snake, making sure that your body is straight and well supported over your hips as opposed to on your legs. Same as with coiling snake. If you're down here on the ground, you don't want to, you want, your hips need to be open. If your hips aren't open, you're not, it ain't going to happen. Okay? That's number one. Number two. If your body is not well supported over your legs, not on them, you won't be able to move. Right? Have to. Alright? The more you can support the upper body, the easier it is to open the hip and move the legs under you. Also requires a buildup of strength. Now, if you're six years old or five years old, and you look at right four years old, you can do this. Not a problem. Some young people in their twenties can do this. Not a problem. I'm not in my twenties. <laughs> I used to be able to do a lot more. I can't do so much now. But there's yeah, man, there's, there's a few things. All right. So coiling snake back and forth. Stand straight. A step to the right. And down. Twist. Tuck the knee. Come on back up. Step through. Yes, it's a whole lot harder to do when you're going slow. Down. Step through. Back the other way. A little bit faster. Up, down, out. Up, down, out. All right, relax. This stepping method, all right, we see in Shingy, we see in Shingy. <laughs> now we, we see it also in Wudang Tai Chi. I, 
All right. Third one. Dragon step. Feet about shoulder width apart. Stand straight. Right hand to the front. Circle. Right hand circles to the back. Left hand circles to the front. Right foot, left, right fist, and step through. Again, left side. Circle. Circle. All right. Relax. Twist. Again, the knee does not go straight down. <laughs> Protect your knee. This much can make the difference. Okay? As you step through, pay attention to where you put your foot. Right? Too wide over here, you won't be able to move through this. If you're too narrow, same issue. You can't really do much of anything. You want to be just a little bit more than one of your fists in between both heels when you pull your foot back. Okay? So if I stand here, from here, if I pull my foot straight back, I end up with just a little bit more than my fist in between my heels. The reason for that is that's the width of my pelvic bone. That's your hip. <laughs> keep the hip open, keep the legs open. Legs work separately. The legs start up here, not down here. Important. Hand and foot together. Twist and down. This goes down, this is down and back. Split. Ready the other side. As you start the turn for the other side, turn the foot. Close it. Close the hip just a little bit. Gives you more stability for the next step. Alright. Not too fast, not too slow. Stand straight, circle, right side first, turn, turn around, left side, and relax. All right. Unlike um, Quelling Snake and Creeping Snake, Dragon Step goes almost all the way down. Okay? So the level that I'm working today is pretty much it. <laughs> A little bit lower would be okay. The emphasis through the step is both the timing for the punch and the kick as well as this downward split. As I'm going down, I need to have sufficient strength to offset whatever force it is that I'm going to use as I go down. So paying attention to the design of the movement. How was some, somebody invented this? I did not invent this. How was it designed? What's the what's the geometry of the movement? How's the force used? How do we move? As the, what do we have to do with which muscle groups? 
with which body parts to move through each of these sets smoothly, continuously, and with the appropriate level of strength and force. What do you have to do? Yeah, more work. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to review this again next. I'm going to review this again next week, and I'll probably put up another review. Um, yeah, I'm going to say maybe in August. And then I'm going to come back to all of this in a few months uh, with, ideally, uh, not having to use my hands to work down on the floor again. All right. Now, Shingy, five methods. We have the correspondence between the five methods and the five elements. This is, we call Shingy the five elements. So metal water, wood, fire, earth. Metal is P, water is dry, fire, pow, wood, bung, earth, hum. Each of these five punches each of these five elements it looks like we're back <laughs> all right yay sorry I just <laughs> I love technology. Technology is great. <laughs> All right. Well, I had a chance to have some coffee. You had a chance to have a break. Good. Let's get back to work. So we got P Tron, Dron Tron. Different turns for Dron Tron. Showed that. Bone Tron. We have the same term as in Dragon Step. All right. So as I'm here, step out, bung chuan, two, three, and turn one, two, three, and down. There it is. Pay attention to keeping your body upright. You want to extend the front leg, not land on it. Okay? I have my own bad habits with this one, but keep your weight more to the back than to the front. Let's do this. Um, yeah, let's over here. Sign table. Bung Chuan. Right foot back. Right hand first. Bung Chuan. Sink. Breathe in. And breathe out. Ready? Step through. Turn. One, two, three. Four, step through. Change feet. Turn, one, two, three, four, step through. Do not change feet. <clears throat> step through. Turn, one, two, three, four, step through. Change feet. Turn. And rest. Okay. Notice that as we change feet, changing which side I turn on. Right? So, left foot front, right foot back. I'm going to turn to my right. It doesn't make sense to even think about turning my left. Right? Then, right foot front, turn to my right. Can't go very far. I can't. I go. I'm. I can. I can go. Okay. I can get to about here. Well, I can get all the way back here now. <laughs> all right. We pay attention to these kinds of things. We do. Okay. 
what's your range in which direction from where you are right now? What can you do from in the position that you're going to? What can you do in another position that you might go to next? Right? Pay attention to the turn. We're going to do this one more time. Pay attention to the turn. Pay attention to the stepping and the change in the feet. Just back and forth once. Right foot back. Right hand first. One. Left foot front. Right foot back. Left foot still front. Right foot still back. And turn. Pull in. Right foot. Down. Step through. Change feet. Left turn. One. Two, three, four, step, change feet, right, turn one, two, three, four, step, change feet, relax. Continuous stepping methods, All right? Um, Being centered over your legs, right? Not on them, over them, gives you this ability to turn, right? You have to support your weight up in here. This has to come up so this can be open. Pao Chuan and Hung Chuan both use a sweep type of motion going this way versus tron tron drill right bong tron straight p slice pow tron opens here to come in as we turn we can use that into the next movement as we come around, use that momentum, use that energy in the next move. The key to doing that is staying centered. Now, Chuan, right foot back, left foot front, step to left. Step out, turn, step, turn, pay attention to the form so that as you add that turn, you keep the correct shape. All right, relax. Again, Shiny tends to be precise. There's not a lot of fluff and puff in Shiny. Matter of fact, there's not any. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, just, we don't, it, not in what I learned anyway. All right, last one. <clears throat> Hung Chuan. Similar to Pao Chuan as we're turning, right? It's important that the fist stay centered through the body. No, it doesn't go over here. It doesn't. I'm going to go slow. My shoulders are here. S 
Step to an angle. <clears throat> no, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm going to go this way. I'm going to step to an angle so that I'm going to be straight to you. Hung Tron. I don't ever go outside my own body. I'm turning, so this covers a little bit more space out here than it would if I wasn't turning, right? But <clears throat> don't do this. Don't don't do this. Just just don't do this. Just don't, just don't even, don't, don't do this. No, don't do this. I, 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 I don't know what that was, but it was not shingy. Do this instead. All right. Comes across. It's not straight out like drill, it comes across, hung, crossing, it comes across, and the goal is that if something, somebody's coming this way, I'm going to come across and move them out of the way. I might do something else with this hand, but hung tron is what I'm doing over here. All right, so as we come across, Pay attention that you don't exceed your own frame. Right? Turn the body. Don't swing the arm out here. Right foot back, left foot front. We go left side first. Right hand under. Step left. Step up. Turn. Don't exceed your own frame. Open the back. Use the shoulders. Turn. One more time. Turn. One step. And turn. All right, relax. Hung Tron, as well as Pao Tron to a certain extent. Hung Tron a bit more. Gives the advantage <clears throat> to he who has the shoulders. Okay? There's so much that I can, there's a lot I can do through my waist and my hips. My shoulders will never be as strong as those of a male. It's anatomy. It's just, his hips not going to be as strong as mine either, so there's that. Being aware of that, being conscious of that, and knowing which forms use and enhance which skills is one of the keys to long-term practice and to being able to actively use, work with, practice, and if you have to use these arts. Without that understanding without knowing what this is for. Right? Practice is incomplete. This, <clears throat> Liu Qi Lan said, we cannot separate the form from the intent. Right? So, in practice, there's something that goes behind it. What is that? And how do we use that in our practice? How do we take that intent? How do we put that into what we're doing? With Shingy, a big part of that is this 
precision, not doing a lot of extra stuff. There's very quiet centering and then there's what comes next. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Real quickly, last thing for today because the system's been in and out. The last thing for today, I'm going to review just a little bit. I'll do more next week. Review just a little bit the linking form. Pay attention to, when we do this together, I'm going to go slow. Pay attention to each of the five elements. Pay attention to the shape of the form. Pay attention to the dynamic and the energy behind the form for each of the five elements. Okay. And yeah, I'm, we're, we're gonna have to back up again. Going slow, going slow. Feet together, stand straight. Salute. Open. Sign table. Step in, Feng Chuan. Step back, Hong Chuan. Step in, Feng Chuan. Go to the side, up, down, Pao Chuan. Step back, slice, P Chuan. Step up, one, two, Chuan Chuan. Back up. Step forward on the left. Jump, bone try. Turn, one, two, three, four. Step through, bone try. Step back, bone try. Close. And salute. Excuse me. Here we go one more time. Slowly. Each movement in good measure. Slowly. Okay? Slow. Take it easy. Last last one for today. Be together, stand straight. Salute. Open. Bung drawn. Hong Chuan, Feng Chuan, down, up, down. Pao Chuan, step back, Pi Chuan. Step up, Juan Chuan. <clears throat> step through, Bone Chuan, turn. Step back, and close. As we move through each of the forms, as we step through and connect each of the movements, we want to pay attention, particularly for Xingyi, we want to pay attention to where the emphasis is for returning and extending. Return, extend. That return, <clears throat> breathe in, pull into the lower Tantian. Return to the lower Tantian. As you extend, that extension comes from the lower Tantian. It's not a hands and feet thing. It's not. Okay? Whole body needs to be connected, the whole body needs to be engaged, and the whole body gets to play. <laughs> Everybody's playing all at the same time. Alright, I will be back next week, this time, with Xing Yi. 
hopefully in the other studio, fingers crossed, we're going to work on that this week. I, I keep saying that. <laughs> it just doesn't become as important right now. Um, and <clears throat> so I'm going to wrap it up. There may be a follow-on, but I'm going to wrap up this time slot next week. This time slot is going to become an introduction to Straight Sword for four weeks, and then I'm going to start Udang Tai Chi Sword. Okay. By that point, we should have, fingers crossed, we'll have finished the Wudang Tai Chi form. I'm teaching that on Monday and Tuesday. We're far enough along with that now that I think it's a good time to go ahead and announce starting the sword form. I also need to mention this at the beginning. I need to move things along a little bit because if I don't, it's going to be 2025, 20, 26 when I fi finally get all this done, and I need to finish sooner. I, I would like to finish sooner. There's other things and more things that I can go do. So I will be back next week, this time. Shingy and Wudang's Three Basic Methods will review the five elements. Tomorrow, Qigong, Wudang's basic Qigong, um, the first nine of the 18 sets. Friday, sets 10 through 18. We are doing all of them. Monday and Tuesday next week, Tai Chi. Wednesday, the last of this series on Xingyi and Wudang's three basic methods. Have a great day. Thanks for being here.